And so I'm all for scientific breakthroughs and progress. But that's with the intent of saving a human life, right? Properly administered, a C-section is life-giving, right? When you look at other things, there is no life-giving nature to abortion. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling you. Today, guys, we're back here on a new video. Today, we're going to check out Charlie Kick. According to Charlie Kick, we're going to like kicking us. Charlie Kick debates college students on science versus nature. Okay, this is going to be amazing to watch. I'd love to give this a try with you guys. Let's get right into it. Charlie. Hi. So I think this might be more of a point of clarification than a legitimate disagreement. So you started off your um, talk by saying that you oppose science insofar as it stands in the way of nature or it sort of rewrites nature, right? Is that like re an accurate representation of your point? Or? It, it, can, it can cause a lot of damage and not done under the proper moral framework. It's been one of the great killers of, of modern humanity. Obvious with, you know, there's been phenomenal breakthroughs in modern medicine, but continue with your question. So. That was actually my question, actually. Oh, okay, yeah. well, there you go. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you could take, for example, so let's kind of just go back to how science is administered through things that we take for granted, right? So, for example, Sir Isaac Newton, right? Force equals mass times acceleration. An object at rest will stay at rest. For every action, is equal and opposite reaction, right? He was a phenomenal Christian, wrote a lot about biblical prophecy, and looked at nature as a way to explore God's creation for an intended purpose. And so it's all a question of what is the intent, right? So I'll give you a great example. If the intent is to allow human beings to flourish, then I'm all for it. What's an example of that? How about a cesarean section? What an awesome medical breakthrough over the last 100 years. Hmm. A cesarean section is, of course, a C-section without getting too graphic. It's a way through medical intervention and progress to save human life with that sure. intended purpose. Now, obviously, you know, you have to have an incision. You have to be able to, you know, have the proper, um, have the proper medication so that, you know, the, the woman doesn't feel it. It's the most common medical procedure now done in America today. And so I'm all for scientific breakthroughs and progress. But that's with the intent of saving a human life, right? Properly administered, a C-section is life-giving, right? When you look at other things, there is no life-giving nature to abortion. So you look at two very complex surgical procedures. One's an abortion, one's a cesarean section. Both require a doctor, they require you know, medication, they require breakthroughs, but they have two completely different moral premises. One to give life, and want to take life away. Does that answer your question? Yeah, it does. And, and, and speaking of abortion, I did have a sort of separate question, sure. if you don't mind. Yeah. So you sort of spoke, you sort of touched on abor abortion from a moral or philosophical standpoint in your talk. Um, from a political or cultural standpoint, how do you see the, the debate playing out in the mid to long term? Um, who, do you, who do you think wins in the long term? That's a smart question. I, I, I've given this advice to conservatives, which is you have to be realistic about it. In certain states, in certain areas, it's not a winning issue. Maybe in a longer period of time, we could do our work and we could persuade people. But if you're trying to get political power or win an election, you've got to be realistic about whether or not you think that is going to win people over. And so some people say, Charlie, you should talk about the issue all the time. Well, then how are you ever going to get political power to actually fix the issue, right? I mean, at some point, you've got to be prudent about this. But I think the, the left is going to see a surge of support. I think that's going to happen. They're going to see a lot of money come in, a lot more activists. And then I think we as pro-lifers are going to get reorganized see where we have to go, and I think we have to go on a multi-decade, multi-generation tour, campaign, project of getting into the deep mor mor moral and philosophy of it, entertaining questions, doing events. Because here's the one thing I could tell you is that most people that are pro-abortion have really not heard the best defense of life from a moral standpoint, a biological standpoint, and a scientific standpoint. But it's going to mm. be a battle, man. And I think mm. you're going to end up seeing kind of red state, blue state abortion centers across the country where California is poised to make abortion a constitutional right. And you're going to see a lot of that kind of interstate travel and all that kind of stuff. So that's my prediction. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, there's not much of a debate here, right? Yeah, it's, it's a question and answer, Q&A. Um, it's beautiful to watch this. Uh, I, I love the entire video. Um, talking about the scissor session, uh, Charlie Cake makes an example of it's beautiful that the society we are in right now has come to growth in this aspect of science, able to do a cesarean session. Doctors come in to do an operation and the baby is able to come out alive and the mother too held it to if the operation is successful because some of them, um, there's also some complication. So 
also the same thing. The same caesarization that gives lives, doctor come in, everything in order. We also have abortion. On the other hand, when doctors come in and everything, they take life. It's, it's really, really bad. Like if, if science is not making everything renovate for the good betterment of mankind, it should be, it should, that aspect of science should be kicked out. Because the whole point of having science it's for the betterment of mankind. And if we are to see that it's not giving mankind growth or is taking lives away from mankind, it's, it's, that aspect should be kicked out. You understand? So the entire video right here, it's, it's beautiful. I love the question. I love how calm and coordinated everything was. The debate was, it was not um, hot. I mean, use the word or it was not heated. It was not heated. It was cool, coordinated. It was, it was not what I feel like a debate. It was feel like a Q&A, a question and answer, and very peaceful. I love the entire question. I love the question the guy asks. Um, it's, it's it's sensible and very, very coordinated. I love Charlie Kick way of response and way of approach. It was actually coordinated too. I love the entire video itself. Uh, my point of view is if science is not making life better for mankind, it should be removed. Uh, if it's renovating and making life better and reducing deaths, then it should, it should be keeping the system. Science and nature should work hand in hand. You understand? So... That's what the entire clips are about. I enjoyed everything. I enjoyed the full clip. And I try to learn a lot from Charlie Kick um, speech. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag. Like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed. I got scales all